Thanks for me. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. That concludes our debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. And boy, what an eventful day here in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town, and I'm sure you're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this darn rain with them? Deerfest is right around the corner, and we're all crossing our fingers for sunshine. So, I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. She never responded. But I have her uncle Tapio on the line from Watery. Tapio, are you there? Yes. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. So you're a fan of swans? No. Right. Well, that's our time. We'll be right back after this next song by the rock and roll sensation National Nightmare. <laughs> Take care now. So sleepy. Just a few more days.
Hi there. Doesn't budge. It won't open. care now. Good day. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Any interesting guests lately? Any good finds? Zilch. 
but someone left a gross surprise under their bed for housekeeping? They were nuts. So, that's what all that screaming was about? Either that, or the couple on their honeymoon. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. When you guys said nothing ever happens in this town, you weren't kidding. Not on the surface, at least. Or in the public eye. Okay. I'm gonna get back to that one later, for sure. Marisetta won't roll over on the issues. Can't be the right way. Pretty nice day to be working outside. I don't envy the guy stuck on desk duty. This is where the action is. Who else to keep this city clean if not I? Who else to protect its city? Sanitary condition?
Tweet, tweet, my sweets. Heard any good news lately? Now, why'd you go and do that? Stomping around like that and scaring the poor little things. If not for the birds, I might just go a little nutty. A little cuckoo, if you will. <laughs> the passage of time is deceiving. The days of our lives are fleeting. And, and they, they end, end in, in the end. end. They yeah. end. There's another lunchbox. I have to head back. Got things to do. Setter is better. to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my, <laughs> I mean our float, will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect really. It is the finest entertainment a town like ours has to offer. The happiest day of the year. Like Christmas, but better. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. I hate the holidays. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it in, coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. Good afternoon. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. I can't believe that happened. 
still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Keep your mind on things. Ooh, we're getting hey, some how you doing? New folks in town, I see. How can we be so calm? Corpses are part of the job. Can't dwell on it too much. I can't get through this. I need something to force this open. Rest easy, buddy. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What were you doing at Colgin late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all.
the cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? We found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Good to see you. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know.
We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. All set? My guys have night heal at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff.
I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. No speeding happening here, I see. Sir, some patience, please. It won't open. They locked up an innocent man. I swear I didn't do anything. They're a lying bunch of bastards. You believe me, right? Agent? As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. It's, only it's not what I signed up for. Bear. This line of work is not for the faint of heart. Faint of... Oh no, oh. a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow, Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Il Mokoskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. We have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. 
fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. A tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. I can't get through this. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. can't be opened on this side. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that?
time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. I need to get into the light. Now.
can't be opened on this side. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Come to sleep is from your face. 